What if the universe is not what we were told? What if the galaxies we see shimmering across billions of light years should not even exist yet? The James Webb Space Telescope, humanity's most powerful eye on the cosmos, has just sent back evidence that does not fit within the framework of modern physics. According to our textbooks, galaxies should have taken billions of years to grow, to form, to evolve into the massive spirals we know today. But Webb has seen something else, galaxies so large, so complex, and so ancient that their very existence shatters the foundation of the Big Bang model itself. Carl Sagan once said, when confronted with an observation that contradicts theory, you either change the theory or ignore the fact. But what do we do when the fact is so undeniable it shakes the very laws we thought governed reality? Tonight, we unravel the shocking discoveries that James Webb has made. Galaxies too old for their age, planets that defy chemistry, and even the terrifying possibility that time itself may not flow the way we believe. When James Webb launched in December 2021, astronomers hailed it as a time machine, a telescope so powerful that it could look back to the dawn of the universe. With its 6.5-meter golden mirror and extraordinary infrared sensitivity, Webb was designed to peer through cosmic dust and capture the faint light of the first stars and galaxies that emerged after the Big Bang. Scientists expected to see primitive, chaotic clumps of matter, young galaxies just beginning to take shape. Instead, Webb revealed something that should not be possible. Massive, well-structured galaxies appearing just 200 to 400 million years after the supposed birth of the cosmos. These galaxies weren't cosmic infants. They were fully developed, as if they had lived billions of years before their time. Imagine looking at a newborn baby only to find wrinkles, gray hair, and a lifetime of knowledge already written across their face. That is what Webb showed us. Galaxies that should still be in their infancy, but look like veterans of the cosmos. This was not a minor anomaly. It was the first tremor of an earthquake that continues to shake modern physics. The implications of these discoveries are staggering. If the Big Bang model is correct, galaxies should not have had enough time to accumulate stars, dust, and organized structures so soon after the beginning. Yet Webb is showing us enormous spirals, massive elliptical galaxies, and even galactic clusters emerging far too early. Astronomers have attempted to explain this with theories of accelerated star formation or exotic dark matter interactions, but the numbers don't add up. It's as if the universe aged in fast-forward, skipping the slow growth we were taught to expect. And it's not just galaxies. Webb has detected exoplanets with atmospheres that contain chemical signatures we've never seen before, like sulfur dioxide on WASP-39b, produced by reactions no model had predicted. Other planets like K218b show signs of haze, water, and even organic molecules that hint at something stranger still. Every new image from Webb, instead of confirming what we know, is raising questions we cannot answer. Scientists are beginning to whisper the unthinkable. Maybe the laws of physics we rely on apply only to part of the puzzle. Maybe the universe itself is operating on principles we haven't even begun to grasp. Perhaps the most terrifying possibility revealed by Webb is that our perception of time itself is wrong. Each of Webb's images is not a snapshot of the present, but a window into the past. Galaxies as they were billions of years ago, their light only now reaching us after an unimaginable journey. But some of these galaxies appear too evolved, too structured, for the epochs they belong to. Could time itself be bending, stretching, or folding in ways we don't understand? Einstein once warned that the distinction between past, present, and future is only an illusion, however persistent. Webb may now be proving him right. Some cosmologists suggest that the early universe was not a simple linear timeline, but a tangled structure where moments coexist, overlap, and bleed into one another. If that is true, then Webb is not just showing us the past, it is showing us cracks in the fabric of reality itself. What if time is not flowing like a river, but flickering like frames in a film, and Webb is catching glimpses of multiple frames at once? If so, then our universe is not just stranger than we imagine, it is stranger than we can imagine. The shocking data from Webb has forced scientists to consider radical alternatives. 
Some propose that we live in a cyclic universe, one that collapses and is reborn endlessly, each cycle leaving traces that Webb is now picking up. Others suggest the multiverse, a cosmos where countless realities exist side by side, and what Webb sees are faint scars where our universe brushes against another. And then there are those who dare to whisper the most unsettling theory of all, that the universe itself may be a simulation designed by an intelligence far beyond our own, and that Webb is revealing the coding errors, the anomalies, the hidden architecture of reality itself. None of these theories can yet be proven, but each one represents a break from the safe boundaries of physics as we know it. The James Webb Telescope was built to answer humanity's oldest questions, but in doing so, it has opened doors we may not be ready to walk through. With every image, every pixel of data, the universe seems less like a predictable machine and more like a living mystery, one that is rewriting the rules we thought were unshakable. As Webb's revelations spread, the scientific community faced an uncomfortable truth. The theories that had stood for nearly a century were no longer untouchable. The Big Bang, the expanding universe, the slow growth of galaxies, all of these pillars seemed suddenly fragile. Journals that once published confident models of cosmic evolution now filled their pages with cautious speculation, their tone shifting from authority to unease. Some cosmologists attempted to patch the gaps with adjustments. Perhaps the universe was denser at its birth, or dark matter behaved in ways we never predicted. But each explanation only raised more contradictions, making the puzzle harder to solve. The deeper Webb peered, the more the cracks spread across the foundation of physics, and what once seemed like unshakable certainty began to look more like a fragile illusion. It was no longer a matter of refining the theory. It was a question of whether the theory itself still worked at all. Beyond galaxies and exoplanets, Webb also uncovered anomalies in the very fabric of space itself. Strange voids, areas darker than they should be, where light seemed to bend or vanish as if swallowed by invisible structures. Filaments of matter stretched farther and straighter than any gravitational model could predict, connecting galaxies in ways that defied computer simulations. It was as though an unseen hand was weaving the universe with patterns we could not decipher. These discoveries hinted at forces beyond gravity, beyond dark matter, beyond any law we had yet defined. To some, this was exhilarating, proof that the universe still held secrets to unlock. But to others, it was terrifying. If the rules of physics themselves were unstable, then everything humanity had built, our science, our technology, even our understanding of existence, was standing on shifting ground. In the halls of academia, whispers grew bolder. What if Webb's discoveries were not errors to be corrected, but truths to be accepted? A new reality was being hinted at, one where time is not linear, where matter forms faster than it should, where galaxies are born older than their years. Some dared to say it outright. We might be witnessing the breakdown of the standard model of cosmology. Just as Newton's laws once gave way to Einstein's relativity, and relativity struggled against quantum mechanics, perhaps physics is about to face its next revolution. But revolutions are not gentle. They come with confusion, with denial, with fear. And Webb's findings are not just numbers on a page. They are images we can see with our own eyes. They leave no room for ignorance. The universe is telling us something, and ignoring it is no longer an option. For the first time in history, humanity is confronting the possibility that the universe itself may not work the way we thought. The implications reach far beyond astronomy. If time flows differently, if galaxies evolve in impossible ways, then what does that say about our place in this cosmos? What if life itself is more common, more ancient than we believed? What if reality is not a steady system of rules, but a living, shifting framework that changes with observation? Standing at the edge of this revelation, humanity finds itself both terrified and humbled. We built Webb to look back in time, but instead, it may be showing us that time itself is an illusion, that physics as we know it is only the surface of something deeper, stranger, and perhaps unreachable. And as the golden mirror continues to stare into the abyss, the abyss is staring back, daring us to understand. The James Webb Space Telescope was supposed to confirm our place in the cosmos, to fill in the missing pieces of a puzzle we thought we had already solved. Instead, it has scattered the puzzle entirely, 
revealing shapes and patterns that don't fit into any box we have built. Galaxies too massive to exist so soon after the Big Bang, planets with impossible chemistry, voids and filaments that weave space like threads of an unknown fabric. All of it points to one terrifying possibility, that the universe is not bound by the rules we thought it was. For the first time in modern history, physics itself is no longer a foundation, but a question mark. The laws we trusted have cracked, and through those cracks, something stranger is shining through. Some will say this is the birth of a new age of discovery. Others will say it is the death of certainty, the moment humanity realized it never truly understood where it was or why. But one thing is undeniable. The Webb telescope has not just looked into the past, it has looked into the limits of reality, and it has shown us that those limits are far closer and far more fragile than we imagined. The universe is not broken. It is we who are broken in our understanding, forced to admit that everything we thought we knew may only have been the first chapter of a much darker, much stranger story. And that story has only just begun. If you want to follow every update, every image, and every revelation from Webb as it continues to rewrite the universe itself, like this video, subscribe, and turn on notifications, because the next discovery may not just shatter physics, it may shatter everything we believe about reality.